This is Wild Chronicles. It's a secretive creature, adept at hiding itself along the sea floor. It also may be the most intelligent of all invertebrates, with the largest central nervous system, basically a brain attached to eight arms. Studies have shown octopuses capable of solving puzzles and negotiating mazes. It appears they have a memory and learn from trial and error. These brainy creatures fascinate filmmaker Mike Degree, who pursues them with a passion. They've got eight arms. That's why they're called octopus. Underneath each arm are sucker dust, these extraordinary gripping mechanisms that give them the ability to hold on tenaciously to anything, including my head at the moment. They <laughs> To better understand the abilities of these unique sea creatures, Mike has crafted 10 specially designed plexiglass tanks, the ideal window into their world. People have seen octopus in the field for a long time, but no one actually knew what they were doing. So we built these sets to give us kind of an x-ray vision. Some of them give us an additional feature. They allow us, well, the first thing they do is allow us to keep them in the tank. Go on then, buddy. They allow us to, hey, sorry, to stick our camera right up in the middle of that dome port and see what's going on during feeding. Octopuses have highly muscular bodies that seem to flow like water. Between their arms, a membrane that is actually a deadly web to snare prey. This species in Australia feels for prey along cracks and crevices. A movement catches his eye. And quickly the prey is scooped up. For a long time, no one really knew what was happening underneath the octopus's web during feeding. Now this is a perspective I've never seen. But Mike's plexiglass dome shows exactly how an octopus consumes a crab. The hard beak inside the mouth delivers a toxin lace bite. Then it's just a matter of separating shell from flesh. With a body unlike any other on Earth, it's easy to see how the octopus became the stuff of seafaring legends. pressure at the bottom of the sea can reach 15,000 pounds per square inch. Can you imagine what that would make your body look like? Probably something like that. Octopus can do this because they have no bones. It would be like us having the ability to go anywhere we wanted as long as our teeth would go through first. Even large octopuses can squeeze themselves through holes the size of a quarter. And they can live with ease at great depths because they don't have air bladders or gas pockets that would crush or explode when subjected to changing pressures. Instead, their bodies are composed of uncompressible liquid tissue. At every moment, they teach you something new. And all the time we had these animals in our tanks, we never had to bait them to get them to move through a passage. And we certainly expected to. 
We just offered an octopus an opening and let their instincts take over. This simple instinct to move and explore may be why the octopus is so universal. For millions of years, they have crawled into virtually every corner of the world's oceans. Versatile and surprising, this creature that frightens seafarers today reveals itself as extraordinary.